वेलकम टू पी के एस क्लासेस टूडे विल स्टडी द टी आर पी अपेर सो इन कंटिन्यूएशन टू योर लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड द टी आर पी अपेर इन द लास्ट क्लास आज वी डिस्कस्ड दैट टी आर पी अपेर और इज रेगुलेटेड बाई टू मेकानिजम्स वन इज नेगेटिव को रिप्रेशन एंड द अदर इज एटेन्युएशन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी दिस वन एटेन्युएशन सो रेगुलेशन ऑफ टी आर पी ऑपरे ऑपरन बाई एटेन्युएशन सो यू कैन गो थ्रू आवर लास्ट क्लास ऑन टी आर पी ऑपरे रेगुलेटेड बाई इन एक्टिव को रिप्रेशन एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन सी द क्लास ऑन ऑपेरन सो दैट यू कैन नो वट इज ऑपेरन सो जस्ट सी एन ऑपेरन इज ए ग्रुप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल जीन्स जीन्स हुज प्रोडक्ट्स आर रिलेटेड टू वन एंड अदर आर फ्रिक्वेंटली एक्सप्रेस्ड इन वन एम आर एन ए मॉलिकूल एंड दिस क्लूस्टर ऑफ जीन्स प्रोड्यूस so so the one mr one mr na they are uh, expressed and the cluster of genes is we call them as operon and each operon has a regulatory gene and here in the trp operon so the, these are the structural genes trp e d c b a uh, together their function is to produce the enzymes or proteins required for tryptophan synthesis and this is regulated by this uh, regulatory region and uh, uh, this is called trpr which produces the trp repressor protein and there is a, a regulatory element also which consists of promoter and operator in addition in the tryptophan operon there is also leader sequence and this leader sequence uh, uh helps in regulation of tryptophan synthesis uh, and there are four sequences sequence 1 sequence 2 sequence 3 and sequence 4 so in the last class we have studied the how uh, this operon functions in absence of tryptophan uh, which uh, usually occurs we say the gene is on usually always it is uh, Uh, on because there is no tryptophan and in absence of tryptophan the repressor protein uh, remains inactive and cannot bind to the operator so rna polymerase which binds to the promoter can move on and cause the transcription of genes but when are uh, there is production of tryptophan that tryptophan activates this trp repressor protein produced by the trpr gene and this active trp repressor now blocks the operator so that there will be no movement of the rna polymerase and there will be no transcription and no enzymes are produced required for tryptophan synthesis so this much we have studied so now we will discuss the attenuation so how this attenuation uh, regulates this tryptophan synthesis or the tryptophan gene how it is regulated so as we discuss that there is a leader sequence we can call it as trpl gene and this leader sequence has four uh, leader sequence has four uh, sub sequences sequence 1 sequence 2 sequence 3 and sequence 4 so before uh, we discuss how these sequences uh, they function uh, just uh, remind uh, just to remind you um, how the protein synthesis occurs because tryptophan synthesis as we discussed tryptophan synthesis requires enzymes and uh, those enzymes uh, are nothing but proteins and so the e coli bacteria in its uh, um, chromosome has the genes for synthesis of tryptophan and uh, uh, from that so suppose this is the dna at, uh, or chromosome and from it uh, the uh, from the antisense strand 
there will be production of uh, messenger rna and uh, this messenger rna has codons uh, which uh, which, cons which is consisting of three bases and recognizing these bases tRNA will provide the amino acid required and those amino acids when uh, combined together they form the protein so right uh, as you can see the uh, in in the bacteria bacteria since bacteria is a prokaryote uh, uh, it 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 has no nucleus and the chromosome uh, is present inside and uh, this chromosome this trp operon uh, there are several operons so one of them is trp operon and uh, this is this helps in uh, regulation of your tryptophan synthesis and how it is regulated by another gene called trpr which is located away from this operon now um, let us see that in the mrna there is a codon and uh, suppose tryptophan tryptophan amino acid uh, has the codon ugg ugg is the codon for tryptophan amino acid so when there is uh, uh, codon uh, uh, ugg codon that will be recognized by acc au gc so acc and the trna with anticodon acc will have tryptophan amino acid so when the ribosome binds ribosome binds there will be uh, ribosome the small smaller subunit will bind to the mrna 30 subunit will bind to the messenger rna and trna will bind to the 50s subunit or the large subunit with a specific amino acid required and those amino acids together will combine to form the protein so you can just see uh, our previous uh, classes on protein synthesis uh, um, genetic code all these things uh, so you can refer them for uh, um, detailed knowledge so in this sequ four sequences one is sequence one and in this sequence one there there are two codons for tryptophan there are two codons and this is the site which actually regulates this uh, gene transcription and uh, we call it as attenuation so let us see how it helps so sequence one there are two trp codons uh, as usual there is one start codon and stop codon and when rna polymerase moves along this the uh, amino acids uh, sorry the um, amino acids required will be provided by the trna and the protein will be synthesized so now let us see so we, uh, this this is a complex of say dna then messenger rna so rna polymerase and here since the in the bacteria uh, since there is no nucleus the transcription and translation uh, goes simultaneously so so suppose in this sequence so first there will be transcription once the sequence one uh, transcription is completed then ribosome can bind to the sequence one and it can start start the translation process providing the amino acid and for the required protein so <clears throat> what happens in this in these four sequences 2 and 3 are complementary 3 and 4 are complementary and 2 3 uh, there are few gc bonds uh, whereas in 3 and 4 there are many gc bonds because of which this 3 4 uh, binding is strong and this 3 3 4 uh, uh, binding causes a formation of transcription term, uh, termination loop transcription termination loop because it stops the transcription it hides the rna polymerase activity and there will be no transcription because all these uh, uh, complex of 
DNA, mRNA, RNA polymerase that will be uh, blocked. All of them will be separated. The RNA polymerase, mRNA, DNA, all will be separated because of this uh, transcription termination loop and the transcription will be stopped. Whereas, if there will be um, complementary base uh, formation between 2 and 3, between 2 and 3, then there, there cannot be formation of 3, 4. So, uh, we call 2 and 3 as anti-termination because when there will be T and 2 and 3 binding, that will inhibit the binding of 3 and 4. Uh, so, there will be no stoppage of transcription. So, what happens? Transcription usually uh, occurs uh, because transcription is uh, transcription followed by translation occurs when there is 2 and 3 uh, complementary base pairing. Whereas, when there is 3 and 4 uh, complementary base pairing, then transcription stops, translation stops and uh, that we call it as attenuation. So, this is the mechanism, attenuation. So, what happens? Uh, why attenuation is there in the TRP gene? Because, because transcription is followed by translation and attenuation actually fine tunes the process of TRP repression. Attenuation is possible because there is transcription followed by translation because ribosome then binds. As soon as the transcription occurs of one part, then uh, uh, translation also starts. So, this allows uh, the process of translation to affect the transcription of this TRP operon directly. And in this way, this attenuation uh, helps. And attenuation actually um, uh, is uh, required here uh, because uh, the suppose this TRP repressor, TRP repressor protein, um, uh, as we have discussed in the last class, this TRP repressor protein, this uh, decreases transcription by a factor of 70, and attenuation through this leader sequence. Uh, further decrease it by a factor of 10. So, the, uh, um, the accumulated repression will be about 700 fold. This is uh, 70 fold. This is 10 times than this one. So, this will be through later sequence, it will be 700 fold. So, attenuation um, uh, alters the process of transcription that is already in progress. Whereas, uh, your TRPA repressor reduce the gene expression by altering in initiation of transcription and attenuation uh, alters the process of transcription which is already in progress and uh, repressor uh, de decreases the transcription by a factor of 70 whereas attenuation can further decrease it by a factor of 10 thus allowing accumulated repression of about 700 fold. So <clears throat> what happens? Now, this in this sequence one, there are two codons, uh, as uh, I have already told you, that there are two TRP codons. So, when there is uh, mm, uh, low tryptophan, uh, as we have discussed that in prokaryotes, because there is no nucleus, transcription is followed by translation. So, when there is low tryptophan, tryptophan with tRNA, so tRNA that has tryptophan, will not be available because there is low tryptophan so there is low tRNA with tryptophan so the ribosome waits now the ribosome will wait here until the uh, tRNA the tRNA with with tryptophan with tryptophan comes for that period it has to wait at this sequence one so, by that time, this uh, here in the sequence, one, suppose this is the um, codon for tryptophan. So, here it will wait up to uh, um, when the tRNA with tryptophan comes. So, un un unless it comes, it will stop here, whereas RNA polymerase moves on. So, when RNA polymerase moves on, what happens? The by the time RNA polymerase reaches at sequence 4, 
by the time the rna polymerase uh, uh, reaches at sequence 4 ribosome is still at sequence 1 so when there is low tryptophan there is low trna with tryptophan so it it rem- because in the uh, sequence 1 of this leader sequence there are two codons of tryptophan so it when uh, when the trna which is bound to the uh, larger subunit of the ribosome waits here so the translation process stops here uh, whereas rna polymer is moves on so by the time rna polymer reaches at sequence 4 ribosome is still at sequence 1 so this helps in the complementary base pairing between 2 and 3 so as we have discussed when there will be pairing of sequence 2 and 3 there there will be no pairing between 3 and 4 it is not possible so 3 and 4 pairing can cause the dissociation of the complex whereas when there will be no pairing of sequence 3 and 4 so no anti termination so sorry there will be anti termination because there will be no termination of uh, transcription when there will be no pairing of sequence 3 and 4 there will be no pair no no stoppage of transcription so that we call it as anti termination so when there is be pairing between sequence 2 and 3 that is we call anti termination and the transcription continues so transcription continues translation also continue because uh, suppose uh, the ribosome another fresh ribosome can come and start translating and we will have the enzymes or proteins enzymes are basically proteins so the enzymes like anthranate synthase igp synthase and tryptophan synthase all are produced so just to remind you how this uh, tryptophan is synthesized tryptophan is synthesized from uh, corismate by the action of anthranilate synthase anthranilate is formed then anthranilate phosphoribosyl transferase uh, makes it phosphoribosyl anthranilate then phosphoribosyl anthranilate isomerase uh, produces uh, cpdp carboxy uh, phenyl amino deoxyribulose 5 phosphate which by the action of indol 3 glycerol phosphate synthase produces indol 3 glycerol phosphate which uh, releases the 3 phosphoglyceryl dehyde to produce indol and by the action of tryptophan synthase in presence of serine produces tryptophan so there are three synthase enzymes one is uh, anthranilate synthase second is the igp synthase and third is the tryptophan synthase these enzymes are uh, produced from these uh, genes trp e and d produces anthranilate synthase trp c produces igp synthase trp b and a produces tryptophan synthase so the structural genes uh, uh, of the um, trp operon these these five they produce the enzymes required for the synthesis of the tryptophan and the and the transcription uh, and the tryptophan synthesis uh, occurs and it will increase the tryptophan so when there is low tryptophan there will be 2 and 3 base pairing 2 and 3 uh, complementary base pairing and the pairing of sequence 2 and 3 acts as anti termination and transcription goes on because there will be no pairing of sequence 3 and 4 because Three is already paired with two, so it cannot pair with four. So it it acts as anti-termination. Then, when there is high tryptophan, what will happen? When there is high tryptophan, high tryptophan means there is availability of tRNA with tryptophan. So tryptophan is available. So tRNA with tryptophan is also available. That means the attenuation. Uh, process the regulation of uh, trp operon through attenuation is actually regulated uh, via this trna so when there is high tryptophan availability of tryptophan trna is also high so it will not wait for the ribosome at sequence 1 so uh, here uh, in the when there is low tryptophan uh, it has to wait uh, because uh, the trna with tryptophan is not available if when there is low tryptophan 
but when there is high tryptophan there is no weighting of ribosome at sequence 1 so by the time rna polymerase reaches sequence 4 uh, ribosome moves on and the ribosome is at now sequence 2 so because of the presence of ribosome at sequence 2 2 and 3 base pairing does not occur so when there is no base pairing between 2 and 3 sequence 2 and sequence 3 automatically it, it uh, results in pairing of sequence 3 and 4 so complementary pairing occurs between sequence 3 and 4 and as we have discussed when there is uh, pairing of sequence 3 and 4 it forms a transcription termination loop formation of a transcription termination loop occurs so there will be melting of the dna rna hybrid and the there will be rapid dissociation of the so the rna polymerase will move the, there will be the dna and the rna all will be dissociated dissociated so there will be rapid dissociation of ternary elongation complex into rna dna and an rna polymerase so the transcription bubble now collapses so there will be no transcription so here uh, the RNA polymer is separated, uh, the, the, uh, the mRNA is separated, the mRNA is separated, the DNA is separated. So, the transcription bubble we can say that collapse. So, the structural genes are not transcribed, no synthesis of enzyme, no tryptophan is synthesized, so the, it will lead to trypto decrease in tryptophan. So, when there is uh, high availability of tryptophan it will automatically lead to this transcription termination loop because of pairing of sequence 3 and sequence 4 and there will be decrease in tryptophan so in this way this attenuation helps in regulation of TLP operon and it is because of the sequence 1 where two codons UGG, UGG2 codons for tryptophan are available and when there is low availability of tryptophan uh, he, there will be low availability of tRNA with tryptophan so here uh, it will stop the ribosome will stop and when there is uh, um, high availability of tryptophan here there will be no weighting and it, uh, the tRNA because the tRNA is already available so because of that the move, the base pairing differs so in case of uh, uh, low tryptophan 2 3 base pairing occurs which leads to no 3 4 base pairing whereas in high tryptophan uh, there there cannot be 2 3 base pairing because of the presence of ribosome at the site 2 and there will be 3 and 4 base pairing and when there is 3 and base 4 uh, pairing the transcription termination loop is formed which causes this the melting of rna dna hybrid there will be the rapid dissociation of the ternary elongation complex rna dna rna polymerase all are dissociated so transcription bubble collapses and there will be no transcription no transcription no enzyme synthesis no tryptophan production so this is all about uh, uh, regulation of TRP operon through attenuation. Thank you.